Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shadowrun Hong Kong. My name is Saika and we're playing on hard difficulty and these are the adventures of Sparks Ride, um, our freshly initiated runner. We uh, left off in the storyline when we were finally assembling our team and we got three uh, interesting runs to go through. The Emperor's Tomb muse uh, Museum, a serial killer and uh, the Wuxing Incorporation Feng Shui. Uh, so we are going to take... Uh, yeah, let's take the Wemperance Elders first. So whenever you're taking a run in Shadowrun, uh, you have the selection of your standard team, which take apparently no cut whatsoever, um, and additional runners that you could hire. Out of my experience, I tried a few of uh, the uh, other runners. They are not necessarily better. They just fill different roles. And then sometimes, like with this guy, for instance, they do have weird builds that I think are not necessarily uh, worth it. So we're sticking with our standard crew uh, because we need to conserve um, our uh, Nguyen. We need the money to upgrade our cyberware. Uh, this time we can take a team of four, so we're essentially taking all of uh, the characters and just confirming that that's it. Good, let's choose our loadout. We have really nothing else to sub in, so we're just taking the normal uh, equipment. By the way, we do have a couple of spell slots uh, left open, so besides cyberware, that's a great op uh, option to invest our money, a couple of key spells that um, would give us the chance to get some passive bonuses. Good. Our uh, task is to start sniffing around. Um, something in the Wampoa Garden District is killing people. It's an interesting quest. The Wampoa Garden uh, District is kind of a district where a lot of like cyber, magnetic, uh, and decker sort of uh, people are living. And we're starting to, melt, uh, to meet Elder NG, uh, who seems to be kind of the uh, spokesman of, of this council. And they will basically tell um, tell us uh, that uh, one of their elders, Mr. Tong, has um, recently perished, um, but in a very brutal way. It seems that something has attacked him, murdered him, and clawed him to death. Um, and we're supposed to investigate that. So, let's look in the Wampoa Garden. This is probably going to be more um, an investigation quest and not so much a, a, a shoot everything down quest. So there will be combat, but maybe not as much as in the other quests. Good. This is the scene of uh, the crime scene uh, that uh, we have originally um, that we were told about, and Tong's body is a ruined mess. Um, it looks like completely savaged, but it also is uh, described that there had been no fear uh, when he was dying. So it must have been very swift. He hasn't. Uh, he wasn't seeing it coming. We unfortunately don't have biotech or spell casting, so we can't really assess it further. Uh, all of this would give us some good clues. Um, we would assess uh, the wall and would have seen that uh, the wall has been painted with blood afterwards. Uh, but that was post-mortem, so after the guy was already dead. This seems to be his flat, his massive computer set, uh, set up. And we're just looking for evidence at, at this point. Good. The bathroom was too small, so nothing has slipped uh, into the apartment from there. And it remains a mystery what has happened. So we're going to ask around. And we'll 
Um, and we'll find out by talking to Zippy and a couple of uh, the others that things in the district aren't as quite as good as they uh, seemed um, originally. So it seems that, that the elders had a pretty substantial um, conflict uh, amongst themselves. Um, and Torque um, uh, was often refusing uh, to, to help them and blocking critical projects. So there, they had a dispute and Torque was not giving uh, them resources and I think she was the one uh, being the main server admin. Uh, so without the resources, um, the dispute couldn't be settled. We're continuing uh, that uh, kind of investigation and would uh, find out that um, yeah, there had been kind of drastic changes lately and coincidentally after talk was dying another one of uh, the council members has been taken their place. Very convenient, right? Yep, I thought so as well. Elder McPee. Good. Oh yeah, and that uh, gives us uh, the information that there apparently had been something strange going on in the garage. Lately, the garages, uh, there are like parking garages here, and they are completely sealed off, uh, which is a bit strange um, because um, the parking garage is normally, uh, the police doesn't really come into this um, district. And yeah, we need to investigate what's happening there. And actually, uh, it's going to be uh, happening quite a bit, but I don't want to spoil that. So let's do the last interview. All of them give you like similar pieces of information. It's quite clear at this point um, that uh, there was a conflict. Uh, this is an astral detective um, who is investigating the case, finding out that there is nothing wrong with a corpse per se. Um, so um, it must have been kind of an assassination uh, attempt uh, because the body itself was fine beforehand. So no like terminal illnesses and, uh, or alike. We find this gang in here, uh, which has uh, been moving in after the police, um, after the police has been has been snooping around and securing uh, the garage. Uh, and when looking into the garage or when asking to take a look into the uh, garage, um, they essentially refuse to do that. Um, so I guess what we can do is essentially attack them right away or, and that is what I would prefer, Placing ourselves in cover first. Oh, it doesn't allow me to do that. Well, that's interesting. Normally you do have the option to kind of prepare for a fight um, by pulling the gun. Uh, that's not uh, the possibility here. So we definitely want to uh, snoop around further. Um, because uh, that will progress the quest. Unfortunately, we find ourselves in midst of a pretty nasty uh, firefight. Sparklight gets haste. And we're starting control mode. Control mode. This time we do have two drones, which is perfect, and Sparklight could take some cover right here. Good, Duncan. I mean, there's no perfect position here, specifically since we are being flanked quite a bit. What we could do is we could move to here.
and essentially try to deal with the ganger right away. Um, our second drone. I don't like it when they are just um, hovering in the open. That really doesn't feel very protected. So one of the things that we could do is we could place it over here. Uh, the problem is we have this massive flank going on from here. So I'm trying to like push everyone into the direction, into the lower direction, like kind of clear this flank and this flank so that we can have a proper fight against them. For the time being, let's move Isabel into cover. The drone is somewhat in cover. Not even sure if it can take cover as a hovering object. We'll try. So that's our sniper drone. Let's see if it's worth its money. Medium cover, heavy cover, we're taking medium cover. Oh, well, that's pretty decent damage. Unfortunately, um, Unfortunately, we were in. Um, we we sh shot into cover. Isabel gets pretty heavily injured. Wow, that was a tough first round. So let's heal Isabel. Eighteen hit points. I think is uh, worthwhile. She's really moving over here. And we got to deal with all of uh, these guys. That's a nice little crit. Good. Let's go with the drones uh, first. What are our options? Got a flanked option. Yeah, we certainly need better to hit. But we can't do that as long as we're flanked. So. Got to be careful here. Um, let's take Duncan is in a good, in a really decent position here. Line of sight blocked, light cover, light cover, medium cover. I would like to go for the thug, but it's a uh, he's in medium cover. I think it's still worth it. So full auto. Ah. Unfortunately, really poorly rolled. It was a 58% chance and he hit one out of five. Okay, let's continue focusing him. Very nice shot into flanking. The adept would make sense to kill next because they are dealing a lot of damage. However, unfortunately also very difficult to hit. So let's continue with the mage. That works well. Wow, that's bad. Um, so he has just hit our drone and took away um, took away action points. That's the worst thing that could happen because they are now on hold. They've lost their action points. It's happening with melee attacks mainly. Very unfortunate. Good, we need help. Summoning a nature spirit here. And that's pretty much it. Um, let's give Duncan or Isabel an increase to aim. We are being flanked from here, so it's not a perfect position. This is actually a pretty good line of sight for them. The spirit only has one turn, the primeval.
might as well give accuracy to uh, to Duncan. So the buffs will help us in the upcoming rounds. For now, we're killing the mage. That was important. And we need to deal we need to do something about the me their melee attacks. That's just brutal. Might as well move here and kill the ganger. Yeah, that I think that's a good idea. Okay, can't use the grenade launcher, but oh, I was about to say we could at least flank the adept. That was not the case. Wow, 70% and 90% uh, shot missed. Good, we've lost our first drone, which is really unfortunate. But there is only so much we can do about it. We need to deal with that adept here. Like I said beforehand. And we still got a ganger, uh, so might as well want to move completely out of line of sight and kill this guy. Okay. Duncan. Light cover, medium cover, that's not good. If we move, we would position ourselves out of cover. But at the same time, their front line is just hurting us pretty bad. Could use a frag grenade. and simply move Isabel away. Yeah, at the same time, where would we move her? She's pretty exposed. Problem remains, we need to deal with that adept here. Okay, so at least a couple of solid hits. We're getting the adept down further and further. And the full auto has certainly helped us a lot. Sparklight is now under fire. So is Isabel. And the drone is down. Oh, we're getting our asses handed to us here, guys. Certainly does not help. Uh, that we are missing every single shot. Getting ourselves back up and increasing our accuracy. Hmm. We gotta finish some of them. There is no way around it. So let's try to hit the adept. Okay, that was good. We are quote unquote tanking them by healing ourselves and just get her down. Okay. Okay, well, I think we are about to have a problem with Isabel here. I do not remember them to be that aggressive. Moving up here. Fortunately, unfortunately, heal is on cooldown. So all we can really do 
is get him down as fast as possible. Perfect. Isabel is down, so she's like really down. We need to heal her with a dog wagon uh, kit. And we are kind of screwed without our drones, to be honest. So this is going to be a tough run. Luckily for us, we still got our street samurai who is going to deal with them. I'll haste Duncan. And we're now trying to just stay in cover for now and kill one at a time. All right, they're moving out of cover, which is perfect. Let's heal Sparklight. Just making sure that we're still keeping ourselves um, somewhat healthy. It's a tough fight. Duncan gets the accuracy bonus and seeing that she's completely flanked we might want to take advantage here. There we go. Very solid hits. Moving into a flanking position, thanks to haste, we can full auto. Come on, just hit her for fuck's sake. Holy shit, this is a close fight. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well. Let's put it this way. I was expecting a much, much easier uh, fight. Where is Isabel gone, by the way? Are you telling me that She's gone for the run. Hmm. I never had the situation that I couldn't like revive them. Normally I <clears throat> was always using the dog wagon contract to kind of bring them back up. But apparently this time that's not going to function. I hope she's not completely dead. Good. We're finding a piece of armor here, obviously, kind of custom tailored armor. And we're seeing a scratch in the wall. All of this is evidence as well as uh, the PDA, which has given us some more evidence around um, the what happened in the parking garage. Essentially, the Elder Council uh, has placed a trap uh, there in the parking garage and wanted to kill a certain individual. A certain individual that we're about to find. Hopefully quite soon. Who did I need to talk to? I think it was the troll. I was pretty sure that we can now find the person who's actually uh, who's actually responsible for the murders. What am I missing? Oh, get a key for the storm drains. Okay, we haven't really fished out the armor. We 
we haven't really fished out the arm. Okay, so that makes sense. Good. Here is the storm drain key, and that is where we will find the killer. Perfect. You would see quite a few body parts down here. And we would find a necklace, a necklace which has originally belonged to um, to the other elder that they uh, that they killed. Good. These gangers here are simply afraid and uh, we essentially ask them to let us uh, through without a fight. I think in our current condition that's the right thing to do. As much as I enjoy beating the living hell out of a couple of gangers that stand in our way, we probably would have lost. So now we do have the key to the actual uh, uh, to the actual um, apartment of Maggie, the first victim, and this is where we're going to find uh, the person who has done all of that. There's a full set of armor including a mask uh, here and there is the person we were looking for a ghoul called Gaichu and Gaichu is an interesting character a very interesting character um, ghouls in Shadowrun are basically mutated uh, humans the um, magic meta magic uh, Vetus virus um, has caused certain uh, people to to transmute into ghouls, vampires, banshees, werewolves, and so on. Um, and uh, he's uh, he's uh, one of them. Uh, you would uh, see that Gaichu, however, kind of is a hired gun, a killer, um, and he would say that he had been hired by the elders uh, council the elders council have uh, promised um, uh, some payment uh, for him and have essentially then lured him into the uh, parking lot that you've just seen and in the parking lot um, In the parking lot, they uh, were fighting against him, or uh, were essentially trying to like track him and assassinate him. He escaped barely, and then started to hunt them down one by one. We now got all of our evidence together. Unfortunately, lost our drones, which is really, really sad. Luckily, they repair uh, after the mission. Unfortunately for now, it is not going to work out. So now, uh, we are uh, giving all of the evidence, uh, the necklace from, uh, from, uh, from Elder Magpie, uh, then the Hong Kong police uh, force, we're basically still telling the uh, the com uh, complete uh, story. We're explaining that Tong wasn't uh, there, wasn't like a slaughterhouse, but he was simply assassinated. And Portalam, the guy who hired us. came to the conclusion uh, that um, 
came to the conclusion that evidence are clear but not overwhelming and now we are finding ourselves in a full-fledged fight against the elders and kind of need to weather the storm a bit because boy boy this here is going to be rough Duncan gets an accuracy bonus and I think we're starting with a nice grenade because it just deals so much damage good um, our newfound friend Gaichu has a few interesting abilities uh, mainly his stances we're going to start with an aggressive stance oh wow and we need to deal with the drone as well actually we need to deal with all of them rather soon so let's start over here yeah that was a good hit he has ghoul abilities as well where would i find his ghoul abilities currently not available all right fair enough we're changing to metal stance which is a stance that uh, gives him at least some sort of protection but reduces his damage and yeah we're we're now going to take some damage without a doubt but it was it was worth it because we wanted to uh, like throw the grenade and dish out some damage all right so how are we going to deal about uh, uh, deal with this first uh, first we are going to to keep our position and i think we're even staying in the open it's it's kind of an open uh, battle at this point. Gaichu could... Um, uh, let's do the following. We're using full auto. Oh no, we're not using full auto. We can kill Elder Sang without full auto. Yeah, there's a, there's pro it's probably better to go for cover. All right, and that leaves Elder... NG um, as the only uh, member which is currently flanking us we have a pretty solid position elsewise so moving there and really hitting uh, hitting her means that she can't use any of her spells two solid crits later that's good Our second runner is going down, but we do have a dog wagon base kit. Want to make sure that this trauma kit is applied. Good. We're being healed up, that's fine. So let's try to kill at least one of them. Almost. I think that we have saved her. I hope the characters um, aren't like permanently dead. No, uh, the, there you go. So she's back in battle. I didn't want to use uh, the dog wagon uh, trauma kit at first because it's worth 215 Nguyen. I probably should have reconsidered that, to be honest. All right. Um, haste for Duncan. What's the right thing to do? and aggressive stance killing the elder good let's find our next target i like the incendiary ammunition so far it deals a lot of damage so it feels like a good ability much better than its alternative
There we go. Perfect. Good. Moving into solid cover and Gaichu is aggressively moving in. Trying to kill the last elder. Melee is super strong if you if you know what you're doing, like uh, specifically if you have your defense uh, set up correctly. It is incredibly strong. There we go. Whew. This mission, I, I remembered it much, much easier. Probably also because with a mage, um, you had the option in this particular mission to uh, to really control the battlefield a bit more. And uh, since if you have a mage and you have uh, the Red Shaman NPC, then you have uh, two times healing. Uh, and that uh, does not share a cooldown because it's on two different characters. So you are much more sturdy. And I noticed that I should probably uh, should have healed earlier in the fight against the gangers. We got pretty heavily pushed against the wall um, and had a really poor position. Couldn't couldn't also get uh, out of it, so it was uh, not an optimal fight in, in the garage. Specifically because normally you want Isabel, um, the decker, um, to have the haste, her grenades are doing such a high amount of damage. It's phenomenal. Yeah, we we didn't have that luxury. Good, gained a lot of karma. My first question is. Oh yeah, Isabel is still alive. So essentially, they're just being taken out of the mission. Okay, fair enough. So we can level up our team and Gaichu has now joined us. So let's take a look. Um, oh, we can only level up him. Okay, let's fair, uh, level him up. That's fair enough. Uh, we either get active defense, uh, which costs him, uh, which costs him one ability point, but offers a lot of armor and dodge. I like that ability or yeah, or we get a ghoul ability. Um, I would go for active defense. Used it in the last playthrough and was very happy with it. So we got ourselves um, the, our first job and completed that. Now it is time. to get paid. Fortunately, we lost our uh, dog wagon contract. And here's the payment. Perfect. We just got a thousand Nguyen. Do we have any extra data? No, we don't, but we do have a new uh, potential runner for our team and Gaichu was always good. I really liked him. Um, one of the things that's different um, this time is since my main character does not really have a reliable uh, healing uh, spell, I think that it will be a very different approach. I'm not sure if I can put him into the team. I wouldn't know which spot he should take. Uh, all of the other spots are super valuable. Maybe we can switch him out for Isabel uh, on the missions where you don't need a hacker. So 
This here is uh, the vendor for key abilities. Anything related to key is essentially uh, available here. So let's take a look. I like the passive bonus here, medium cover bonus uh, against all magical spells. We definitely want to have that. We already got the killing hands. And I don't want active abilities. We're not interested in really fighting. So let's take this um, and make us more resistant against um, magic attacks. That's good. She will get more as time progresses. And for now, to be honest, with uh, the amount of um, Nguyen that we do have, it we, we can't afford anything. The next investment that we're going to do is into cyberware because we need way, way, way more um, passive bonuses. Okay, what are we going to do with 8 Karma? Uh, I informed myself about the drones the last time. Should have maybe started the video with that. The drone that we bought uh, the uh, flying Doberman, uh, the flying uh, sniper drone, uh, is indeed a B drone, a class B drone, and we're not even at class A drone, so I kind of hesitate to already go to the S drone tier. Uh, we really don't need that at the moment. Um, I figured we might want to maybe go for more, uh, for more uh, quickness. Uh, that's one option, or well, the other option is. Um, to become more beefy, I think we're I think we're going for more quickness. To be honest, and we could get the Overwatch ability as one option, or we get a higher dodge, which I also like. But I think we're going for better range combat that allows us to hit better. Um, I wouldn't go much higher than four for now. We're capping it at three rifles because we want uh, to have the full auto ability. You've seen that um, uh, with um, Duncan. He, he, the full auto is a really helpful ability, but mainly we should be in for dodge. So that's probably what I'm going to scale next. Dodge is very helpful in order to mitigate damage that's um, coming to you. Um, the drones were good but quite squishy maybe that's going to change in our next mission well, this brings us to the end of today's video there is another run ahead but that's going to happen in the next episode guys uh, sparklight friendly uh, uh, waves goodbye to everyone time to leave the sprawl of hong kong and we're going to see each other in the next episode as always if you have enjoyed the content leave a comment or a like down below uh, maybe uh, describe or share with me if you've ever played Shadowrun and what's your opinion about the system thank you and have a great day bye bye